actually can't believe I did this. This is like too nice. Holy oh, crap. What's going on guys? This is Dave. I'm back with another unboxing and review of a another pair of boots actually. This time it's a collaboration boot from Drake's with Alden. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox them with you guys. Alright. So here is the box. Oh, by the way, this time today I just brought this out. This is uh, the good old DVK knife. Uh, my favorite knife that I've been um, using a lot recently or over the uh, over the winter for camping mostly you know just amazing uh, piece of equipment that I carry with me every time I go camping these days okay so back to the box so this box is really uh, plain there's not much to it very um, well look at that it says Alden made in USA the model name is M1807HC. Size is uh, 90. I went down half a size. This is called the Naval Boot. Simple box, nothing much to it. So, here it is. So, inside of the box, nothing much to it. They did a pretty good job. I mean, I've seen this type of uh, I've seen this type of uh, wrapping, or uh, what, I don't know what, what you call this, but there's like a piece of a uh, piece of a uh, cardboard thing inside this uh, piece of paper. Kind of like holds its shape, I guess. Kind of interesting. What's even more interesting, actually, is. Um, What's well, packaged is really nice, but this boot is inside of a, a plastic bag. Isn't that kind of crazy? Let me go ahead and get rid of the plastic bag. Woo! Look at that. It's got some, uh, it's a cap toe with some broking, as you can see. Let's see some close-up. We love our close-ups here, right? Some fine detail going on. And the sides are kind of a... Uh, I don't know, it's got some kind of paint on it. Over here as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you can kind of tell, but this... this this uh, half commando soul thing is uh, like kind of like the uh, color of the box almost a little different shade but it's a little like khaki green and you can see some uh, you can see some of that paint here and it's got the in the Norwegian welt, like the storm welt, I guess. Not sure if it was actually um, all the way, if it if the welt goes both sides, but it's definitely uh, good ear welted. And it's a fine looking boat. I mean, I do have the Alton um, 990s in color 8 as well and but that one actually you know it doesn't have the cap toe and this time for the boot since this is a boot I wanted a cap toe boot and uh, not sure how it'll wrinkle I'm pretty sure it'll um, have the rolls here not all the way out here yeah so that's how it is let's see what else is in the box we have a like a dust bag. 
the other pair with plastic bag. There's like a little bit of a thing here. Oh, that's too bad, but I mean, it's a boot, you know. It's gonna get scrapes and scratches, whatever. I don't know. That's oh, fine. Can't really see it anyway. Don't see too much, um, too much else other than that. So let me put these, let me put the box away. I mean, I have like a dozen pair of uh, Red Wings and a few other boots, but um, these were, I've been like eyeing these for like months, maybe like a year or something. I thought these would be a good match um, with the leather, with, uh, with the boot. You know, very sophisticated, I thought. And it looks good together, maybe. Yeah. It's like a gentleman's vibe going on. Oh, look at that. Love to shine on the Cordovan uh, leather. You know, this, as you know, this is uh, this is called the Cordovan leather. It's a uh, horse ass, like a horse butt area, but not the actual skin, but like the, another layer inside of the skin. So that's. That's, so that's the difference. Um, it's not actually like the outside of the, you know, where the hair grows. This is not that kind of skin, but it's like the inner layer inside the uh, horse's butt. So it's like special material. And uh, you can't really uh, get too much of this leather per horse, so it costs so much. It's supposed to be really durable. Like super, one of the most durable leather. And let's take a closer look. So this lacing system is pretty cool. It's like straight lines on the outside, but inside it's like um, they're skipping each eyelet to make that happen. Oh, so inside you see it says uh, Drake's and Alden. All right, so you can tell it's a collaboration between Drake's and Alden. Cool. It says made expressly, made expressly for Drake's. Not exclusively, but made expressly. Inside the boot, we got Alden uh, made in USA going on. And the tongue has a. This is just like, um, you know, one uh, whole sheet of uh, leather. And inside of the boot, it's got a lining material. Here we have the the sizing and the, all the information about the shoe. Okay, so, um, yeah, overall this um, quality is just uh, spot on, uh, love these, loving these, absolutely, and perfect with the DVK knife, hey. While I'm at it, maybe I'll just um, do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of conditioning. When it comes to water, it makes these, uh, puffy bubbles, so I like to uh, protect it by adding uh, a layer of wax. So this I won't need yet. This is the Fine Paste Wax by Alden, and it's the Color 8 Cordovan. Looks like this. I haven't used it that many times, because it's got, it's like re re uh, very rich in color and it's like used to kind of like um, restore the color of the Cordovan when it gets uh, scrapes and stuff. So this is going to be the thing I'm using, the Cream 1925. This is a sheer, sheer butter based and also uh, waxed or beeswax based. Saphir, neutral. So let me go ahead and dig that. All right. 
So I'm going to apply it with this. Just, just a little bit is enough. You, know, you don't need to add too much. Make sure you get all the um, little cracks. All right, it's on the other side now. a little bit, you know, just for a little accent. More on the back side. I mean, while I'm at it, might as well just get the um, weld too. As you can see, I'm not like, you know, using too much of this product. I'm just doing like very, very light dabbing because you don't need too much. So I really recommend this product if you're into any, um, you know, good high quality uh, boots or shoes. Here is that DBK knife. While we're waiting. I mean, I've used this like several times. I mean, it's still like in pristine condition. I don't, you know, obviously I don't go crazy with it. I just use it for camping. I'm not like a gardener or um, professional knife user. It matches well with the uh, uh, Cordovan boots. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, go ahead and... See how it's kind of like dried out now? I think it's ready to go. Should be. Is it this side? Oh, okay. This side, I added more by mistake. That's too much. It's like caked on now. This side is, seems. Uh, this side seems better. Let us sit for another minute, and then I'll go ahead and. break the wax with my Berwick uh, horsehair brush. Oh wow, you, you see that shine right here? I mean, it does look a little waxy and greasy, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off with a cloth soon. my Alden cloth. Just gonna go ahead and wipe it off a little bit. All right, looking good. I mean, you know, I'm not like an expert on this, but you know, it looks good enough to me. If you're like a um, cobbler, if you know um, the be better ways to take care of boots like this, please let me know and you know it'll help me out. But I mean, this looks good. You know, you see all this um, shine, super high shine. I don't want a mirror shine though, you know, I mean, that's just not my thing. I'm totally satisfied with this, wow. That is so nice. Jeez. I actually can't believe I did this. This is like too nice. Holy crap. I absolutely love it. Okay, so next side. Uh, 
I've heard like mixed um, comments, mixed reviews about um, Cordovan shoes because some say that you know these boots are the leather is going to be dried out by the time you get it because you know it's been months or it could have been years before I uh, get them. So they were saying to condition them as soon as I get it. And some w would say that you never need to condition them because uh, Cordovan leather is just full of oil inside and that you just have to only, uh, only brush them very often. And, you know, I think everyone just has their own way. Some, for some people they want a certain look to the leather some people just want it um, for the durability some people want to waterproof it I'm a city person and I don't use it for anything like farming or anything I mean no one would use these for farming anyway <laughs> look at that Wow Look at that shine, wow. Holy crap, that's so nice. All right, so I'm gonna wear these out. I am outside now and I have taken several steps. Um, maybe I've walked around for the past uh, like 10 minutes or something, 15 minutes maybe. So now it looks a little bit more brown and um, it's got some uh, reddish hues to it. Creasing is uh, looking pretty nice. Actually, this area, this part right here, kind of uh, feels a bit tight, maybe, like the uh, vamp area. So, but it's also because I have high instep and high arch, so uh, that's probably also why. But yeah, these are um, D width, and it feels like E width, actually. Pants I got is. Uh, Double RL pants made in USA. Also, let me just show you like a um, 360 degree type of thing. I forgot to mention uh, these already, you know, collected some dust over uh, um, I don't know, like 30 more minutes of walking. But yeah, I forgot to mention that um, on the bottom, I also put on the, the 1925 cream on the bottom here on the sole where the leather is showing. Basically no break in, you know, like um, I'm really used to some of the other brands um, and you know, that requires like maybe like at least 10 wears these things are you know just amazing in terms of comfort these are so comfortable um, as soon as i put them on i just forgot that i'm wearing new boots but also it makes these um, squeaky noise it's kind of crazy how um, squeaky it is but um yeah i don't know i don't know how long it'll take for that to go away but it's it's definitely um, I could hear it when I'm even standing up. Um, anyway, something to um, consider if you're um, in the market for buying one of these things. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.